UML diagram is designed to show how actors can accomplish their goals and objectives using particular use cases. In this video, I will explain you everything you need to know to get started with UML use case diagram, and we will build sample online e-commerce store UML use case diagram in Microsoft Visio. So what is UML use cases diagram? The main purpose of UML use cases diagram is to show what actors can do in the system. Typically, what actors can do in the system represents functional requirements. Use cases diagram also helps people understand what is the actual business need behind the system, which business problem are we trying to solve. And by looking at UML use cases diagram, everybody on the project team will be able to see how system actually solves the problem. Comprehensive use cases diagram shows all available options and all available use cases in the system and typically used in all phases of software development lifecycle. To start creating UML diagram, just click on the UML use case template. There are eight shapes available to create UML use case diagram. Actor, use case, subsystem, associations, dependency, generalization, include and extend. Let's look at five main considerations for online e-commerce store. There are at least two types of online customers. Both new customers and previously registered customers can shop at online store. Customers should be able to search, view, and find the items to make purchases. Customers should be able to complete checkout, and new customers should be able to sign up. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka, and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. There are two types of online customers, previously registered customers and new customers. First, let's depict online customer. You can either bring a new actor icon for every new customer type, or you can just copy and paste an existing actor's icon. So what is UML? UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. It is the visual language that was designed to help capture ideas and make communication of the information easier among software development teams. UML provides multiple types of diagrams to help describe software systems. It helps people visualize concepts, construct systems, and document actors. It helps with business modeling of the new system, as it helps people to get aligned on the idea and help everybody to better understand what is being built and help contribute to final solution. The relationship between customer types could be described in UML using generalization. To describe the relationship, you bring in the generalization line and I'll customize it based on the need. To show online shopping store, you use UML subsystem shape. After we change the name of the shape, we can start adding use cases using use case shape. There are at least four different use cases we should consider. Search and view, make purchases, check out, and sign up for new customers. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. To reflect the use cases actor is performing, you use use cases shape. When building the diagram, you can either copy and paste use case shape, or you can bring in new shapes every time. You can use cool features of Microsoft Visio to align the shapes and distribute them vertically. To do that, you need to select all the shapes. You can do it by holding the shift button and then align left. So now all the shapes are aligned. To distribute them equally, you click on the position and you say distribute vertically. And now the distance between the shapes is the same vertically. Once we have all the shapes selected, we can drag them to make it more centered within the subsystem box. Now let's define relationships 
between actors and use cases. To do that, we can use association shape. We bring in association connected to one of the actors and then connected to the shape. For example, new customer needs to sign up before being able to use the system and do a checkout. At the same time, new customer should be able to view items without signing up. Previously registered customer should be able to also search and view items. And registered customers also should be able to make purchases. I personally don't like when lines in the diagram intersect. To avoid this, we can move make purchases above the search and view. To better understand the sequence of activities happening at online store, we will use the hierarchy you can see on this picture. UML, by the way, provides an exceptional diagram type for this, activity diagram. So make sure to search for my other video on this topic. But in use case diagram, let's see how new customer progresses from being new customer to the checkout. Even though new customer can search and browse items on the online shopping store, we expect new customer to sign up before new customer can make purchases. So from the standpoint of use case diagram, make purchases use case includes search and view items use case as well as a checkout use case. Let's show this relationship in the diagram. To do that, we can bring in include shape and connect two use cases using include shape. Now you can see that the diagram depicts that make purchases use case includes search and view use case. Let's establish the same relationship between make purchases and checkout. To avoid crossing the lines, I'm going to bring checkout use case closer to make purchases use case, and I'm going to expand subsystem shape. And now we can add relationship between make purchases use case and checkout use case. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. I would recommend you do a couple other things to make diagram look more professional. I would add a title box, and I can do it by bringing in a text box right here in the diagram. We can also look at the colors to make them better matching. Right now we have blue, green, red, and black. They look okay, but not very professional. Visio design features provide us with the opportunity to quickly fix it. We have multiple themes here, and we can try to pick one of the themes. This looks a little bit better, but we can try other themes as well. Once you pick the theme, you can pick variants. Variants allow you to change the colors, but keep the theme. Let's say that I like this theme, but I'm not happy with the colors. I would like to make actors with the red matching the logo, instead of having actors in the pinkish color. To do that, you need to select each actor individually, and on the Home tab, select Fill button, and you can pick the color that would be as close as you can see based on the colors available. It is hard to match it exactly, because it's still different, so I'm probably going to stick with the black color, because black is pretty much the same. To do that, I can select Fill and click the black. I can change the color of the font the same way. All I need to do is select the font and click on the font color. Now I can replicate this format to other shapes. To do that, I need to select the shape, click Format Painter, and replicate it to other shapes. We can also change the title and color of the subsystem shape into black. To do that, Let's select subsystem shape first and click line to be black, as well as the text to be black as well. To change the color of the title, you select the title and choose the font to be black. Obviously, my design skills are pretty amateur, but you can use your own design talents to pick the right colors. Since we had to rearrange the shapes, we can arrange them again to look more professional. To do that, let's select the shape and you see that Microsoft Visio provides some guides that allow us to place the shape correctly. We can place this shape in the middle, in between make purchases and sign up, and we can have checkout somewhere on the side, maybe in between make purchases and search view. And another idea that just came to my mind is making the title bold to make it more vivid. If you like the diagram, make sure to download the sample using the description of this video. This will allow you to jumpstart your own UML use case diagram. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.